This is Mark Miller with EndUserSharePoint.com. One of the things that we try to do here is provide you with immediate solutions that you can use to common requests when uh, using the interface in SharePoint. Last week I showed how to create a scrolling news aggregator in SharePoint. What I want to do today is show how to create a scrolling photo library so that you can pull photos directly from an existing library and display them in a sliding interface. Here is the library that holds the photos. It's the photo gallery library and you can see that I've got a group of images in here. And the desire is to put those into an interface so that when we click on the arrow, it slides through the photo gallery. We can click on a photo. It goes directly to the photo in the photo gallery. Pretty cool, right? That's one of the techniques developed by Christoph Humbert from Path to SharePoint. Here's the back end of the page here. There's a photo gallery web part here that is actually pulling in the images from the photo gallery and just hiding it because they're not needed to be visible when we create the slider here. The slider is a content editor web part that Christoph has embedded some code in, the jQuery code, and then the configurations for the slider. Let's look at the back end of that and see what we have embedded in here. Modify shared web part and look at the source code. We can see here a lot of down here at the bottom is a bunch of CSS that's actually driving it. But what we have up at the top is actually the call to jQuery that is pulling in the resources that are needed to generate the activity and the action on the screen. From there it's mainly just CSS. So the idea is for you to use the ability that is built into jQuery. There's an easing one that shows you how you can ease across the page. You've got the jQuery minimum scrollable there. So what we have is a library set up with the jQuery resources. We point to those libraries and utilize the functions that are available within the jQuery library. So there's the scroller again. You see how it works here. There we go. And we click on any of the image and it activates the image from within the photo library. This is Mark Miller with End User SharePoint. Remember now what we're trying to do is to give you solutions just to make you think about the possibilities of what's available here. A lot of the things that we show here are available on standard websites just through using JavaScript or jQuery. But most people don't think of using them within SharePoint. So thank you to Christoph for these kind of solutions. Also, Paul Grenier has been instrumental in doing this kind of thing. We have a group of people that are working on solutions like this. Hope you come and visit us often and see what more we have to say. Thanks.